Now, although SOP expressions are really the most simplified form of a Boolean expression, they're very easy to obtain from a truth table. And we know that all truth tables can be represented by a SOP expression. Now, a SOP expression has always got the same form, well, because of this sum of products nature. So we know that uh, each AND gate in the circuit represents a min term, and these AND gates we need to have as many inputs as there are in the system. For when, so when we've got three inputs, A, B, and C in the system, the AND gates need to have three inputs. And then we know that each of these min terms, so each AND function, is all together, so it's fed into an OR gate to sum them up. And then we know that the OR gate needs as many inputs as there are min terms in the system. So this kind of this kind of common form of a SOP expression gives rise to this idea of a programmable array logic or PAL. So it's essentially a matrix of conductors that form rows and columns and there's a programmable link at each junction. So you can use, use a computer to program it on a special programming device and these links are essentially, you can think of them as fuses, you can either blow fuses essentially so disconnect links and the rows are all connected to the inputs and the complements the columns are connected to the AND gates and the eight puts of the AND gates are fed into an OR gate. So we'll look at this example here. So we've got this kind of matrix of conductors. So the horizontal rows are the inputs. So we've got A. So we know that all this line along the top is going to be A. And then that is tapped off through a, um, through a NOT gate. So we know that all this line along here is not A, then we've got the same thing again with B, not B, C, and not C. So these six lines gives us our six possible inputs. And then for this four three inputs, you know, two to the three gives us our eight possible min terms. So we've got eight AND gates here, so each AND gate will represent a different min term. And because there's three inputs, you know, every AND gate needs three inputs and then they're all fed into this OR gate so this is just a symbol for an eight input OR gate so this is the kind of say, common structure of a three input PAL so if you want to actually design a circuit in a PAL so for example the security system we did earlier in the course so this is this was the full SOP expression for the security system, so we're just going to look at each min term in, in, a, in turn. So for this first one, not A and B and not C. So in red, so we need to, we know we need to get not A. We need to put have a connector here, and not B. We have one here and C. So that's going to be on this one here. So we know this gate. That AND gate is going to be for that min term. And then for the next term, ne next min term, we've got not A and B and C. So we've got not A again, so I'm going to need another connector here. B. Here. And C. Here. So this, this gate. It's going to implement that min term again for the next min term. We've got A and not B and not C. So A, so I need to put connector here on A for that point. Not B, so one here and not C. So put connector there. This and get. Eight put will represent this min term. The next min term we've got A and not B and C. So we've got A not B. This one and C. So that gate is going to implement this min term. And for the last one, we've got A and B and C. So we're just going to have 
is and B and C. So this AND gate is going to represent represent this min term, and we just need to all them together. So in fact, for this ex, for this particular example, we've only got these five min terms, so we don't need we don't need these last ones. So they'll feed in this all gate. And that's how we'd implement that system very easily using a PAL. So you can see it's very easy. You get your design problem, you create a truth table, and it's very simple to get a SOP expression. And then it's very simple then to implement it using a PAL.